everyone it's Allison welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be making these fun wreaths which are actually tags uh, using the Spellbinders beautiful wreaths collection so this collection is super fun uh, there's lots of different sets in the collection you can see three of the different sets right here and we are going to start with the top one which is the build a wreath set. So this is kind of like the main set. It has all of the foliage, different kinds of branches and stuff like that. There's some flowers and there's a bow. So this is kind of the base. So to make my wreaths, I am using the fluted classics circles. And I picked like the second largest circle in the set and then a slightly smaller one. And there's lots of ways to do this. Now you can see I already created one. It's kind of wonky. It wasn't really even and that's okay, but I, I need to try to match it because I want to stack it with two white pieces just to give it some bulk. So I'm putting the die back in and you'll see I'm going to pop out that gray piece. Now I could have left that on but and just ran it through my die machine like that. Um, just to ensure kind of a perfect match. But my my cutting plates are kind of old and it would have marked up that gray piece. So you can see that was a pretty good match right there. I'm not incredibly worried about perfect match and I'll show you why. So I have my two white pieces stacked up and glued together. And now you can see I've put my gray piece on top and you can kind of see white. So I'm just going to take a gray marker. Now, again, you know, I could have done this in so many different ways, but this is just a really easy way. If you don't have things that match up exactly, just take a marker around the edge and then you won't see that white um, edge. So here I am showing you final assembly of the first wreath that we're going to make. This is a green wreath. And you'll see I had used a green marker. And now I flipped it over and I have another clean green wreath. I'm calling them wreaths or just circles. And I'm going to put that on the back because these are going to be tags and I want them to look nice from the front and the back. All right, so again, you might have, so here are the three, dot, three little wreaths that we're going to use for today. The first thing I'm going to do before I start gluing any elements onto my wreath is I'm going to tie a string. Now this is uh, just a green ribbon. Again, this is the build a wreath set that we're starting with. And I'm just going to tie that ribbon and I'm going to make sure the knot is kind of on the back because I don't want any bulk on the front. That's where I'm going to be gluing my elements. All right, so I was gonna say, you might have a circle die that cuts a circle frame. Like what I just created from two circles, you might have a die in your stash that already creates this circle frame. And that's great, you're off to a head start. Um, like I said, there's so many ways to create circle frames. So here I am, uh, I'm gonna start just adding base foliage. And like I said, there's lots of different types of foliage in this build a wreath set. And so here's a second kind and I'm coming in with a second color. And I'm just going to go around the wreath and just, you know, build up some bulk and just build up some interest. And when I start gluing my elements on like flowers and stuff, I will come back in and, and just keep adding stuff to fluff it up. All right, these pieces are actually from the Petite Floral Potpourri die set. This is not from this build a wreath set. And there is an actual add-on set. Like I said, this is from a collection. There are several die sets in this collection. There is 
a die set. I think it's the garden add-on and that has all sorts of foliage and stuff like that. So here I am creating the bow and I'm just stacking it up. I think just two layers just to give it a little stability. And I'm going to glue that on the top and I'm going to use one of my tweezers to hold it in place. I love my tweezers so much that I I bought a second one. Uh, and you would think it's because I am constantly losing one of them, and that's kind of true, but it's for reasons like this, because sometimes you just need two tweezers. And yes, I, I often lose both tweezers. All right, so now I'm gluing on my flowers, and these flowers were e really easy to create. You just... There's just one die for each flower and you cut it twice and just rotate it to create that look. And I think the sunflower is so cute. So these rays that I'm creating today are pretty easy. I'm not, there's nothing fancy that I'm doing here. Now these little leaves are from that same petite floral potpourri set that I talked about before. I just wanted to add some leaves underneath these flowers. So here I'm just kind of playing around with the arrangement. And now every set that I have today has a different bow, which is fun. It's fun to have different bows to choose from. And I think this set actually had a different, two different kinds of bows. All right, now is when I'm coming in and filling in to make the wreath look more full. So you can see I've kind of chopped that little branch thing apart and I'm just filling in. All right, so the Serenade Sentiments, these are brand new. That's where I got this For You sentiment that's on my wreath. And you can see all the other sentiments that come in the set. Um, again, this, this is brand new. And uh, Spellbinder does such a great job with, with sentiment dyes like these. All right, now um, I'm adding some jewels, green jewels. These are from Pink Fresh Studio. I have them in like almost every color. And you can also see that I added white gel pen highlights. And here is the final wreath slash tag. And I think it's really cute. All right, here is the Halloween wreath add-on set. Like I said, there's lots of sets. Uh, and I mentioned there was a garden set and there's also a birthday set. Um, and the garden set that has a lot more floral elements in it. So I think this Halloween set is really cute and by the way, stay tuned till the end because I have a really cute card using some of the elements from this Halloween add-on set. I couldn't use them all on the wreath. Uh, now this sentiment is from the Sentiments of Wonder. Those are better press plates that I hot foiled with black foil. And uh, there's just lots of great sentiments in that set. So now I... And, um, you know, just playing around, I made the little candy corns. Who likes candy corn? Anybody? I kind of like it, but I think every year that goes by and I get older, the less I like it. <laughs> you know, like I'll eat one and I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, I'm a Reese's peanut butter cup person, so... I'm all about that at Halloween. Uh, you know, I always used to encourage my kids to look for the orange <laughs> wrappers when they went to people's houses if they got to choose the candy. Uh, yeah. The Reese's pumpkins are the best. And I'm going to say that again uh, when Christmas comes. I'm going to tell you that the uh, Reese's trees are the best. It's pretty much whatever's in season. All right, so, you know, I have all these bats 
that are really cute. And there's even this bat, it's kind of a weird shaped bat. I thought it would look cute on the bow. So there's another fun tag. I love that little ghost, she's so cute. Okay, so now we are to the Christmas add-on. And this is a big set here. There's dies that create ornaments. There's some dies that create this really cute snowman with a hat and a scarf. And season's greetings. There's a tree. I mean, it's a huge set. I'm not going to use a whole lot from the set. I'm going to use snowflakes, the poinsettias. Um, I think... I even used the bow from the Halloween set for this one. So here you can see I've come in with a different kind of foliage from that build a wreath set. These are more of like little pine branches. And I have the poinsettias and I have some snowflakes. And so these little guys right here, these are from, I believe it's the parcel and post Christmas decoration set. These came out last year. So that's what this little branch is with the little berries. And I'll show you how easy it is to put these together. And again, I'm not going into detail on how I'm building these wreaths. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for some of you. Uh, but along with that, with these branches, I also used the little peppermint candies from that um, parcel and post set. So you'll see that in a little bit uh, that I put those peppermint candies on the wreath. So again, just kind of arranging. And so here we are, like I said, kind of jumped forward. Now I'm adding some clear sequins and the, there's the little peppermint candies from the parcel and post set. And the sentiment that I chose to use for this is the comfort and joy sentiments. I've used this quite a bit lately. These are hot foil plates and there's a matching die. And, uh, you know, you hot foil a bunch of sentiments at once and you die cut them all at once because it's one die. And it's just great to have them in your stash when you create a bunch at once. And again, I use the Halloween bow for this. I think the Halloween bow is my favorite bow from these sets. Um, I haven't looked at the birthday or the garden set, so I don't know what kind of bows there are in those sets. But here is the finished Christmas wreath. And now we're going to go to the surprise. Do you remember Mr. Figgy Pudding from a few videos ago? This is the Dancing Figgy Pudding die. And he wanted to dress up for Halloween and who am I to say no? So the little knobs on the side of his head, I actually made from the ends of the candy cane from that parcel and post set that I just showed you. And the spiderweb background is actually a better press plate. And I just used white foil and used it on my hot foil machine. Uh, you know, you can use any better press plate with your Glimmer hot foil machine, which is great. Uh, and then the candy, the little Halloween bucket, the happy Halloween, that all comes from that Halloween wreath add-on set. So it, it's fun. You don't need to use it on a wreath. All right, so here are all the wreaths that I made. And I know I said I made them into tags, but I could easily take these and put them on a card. Um, you know, do whatever you want with your dies. I thought it would be fun to use the wreath collection to actually make wreaths. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.